So I finally did it. I took the plunge and bought myself a pair of premium boots. I'm talking about Viberg. And today in this video, we're gonna unbox them right here. So stay tuned. <music> Right, so here's my Viberg boots. Now I'm just gonna do a little unboxing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear them in for a few weeks before I do a full on boot review. So I just wanted to show you what was in the box, you know, what they look like straight, you know, when you, when you get them brand new. Uh, if you're wondering what I got, it's, I don't know if you can see that. I got the Viberg service boot. It's a tobacco uh, chamois rough out in, uh, with the Commando sole. Uh, I got it from Riven and Hyde in London. And I'll just talk about it as we go through. So the box is very nice. Obviously it's a box, but you know, Feels very uh, premium. If we open it up like that, nice tissue paper with Viberg branding all over it. Um, these are my first pair of Viberg boots, obviously. I, uh, you know, so the, the amount of money you pay for them, you kind of expect them to be somewhat premium. And they are, look at this, they come uh, very well packed. You get some uh, extra laces here uh, that you can put on them. You also get this nice little, uh, I think it's canvas, canvas bag uh, with Viberg, um, Viberg shoe cream on it. So that is really good. Neutral color Viberg shoe cream. So that comes with it. Let's put that down there. Each boot is individually packed in their own uh, Viberg boot bag, I guess. So we've got two boots. Also got this uh, information. This is the stitch down construction information. Uh, it just gives you a bit of information about the construction and the stitch down. And then this is the care guide as well. So you get a, a Viberg care guide uh, like that. So I'll just put this to the side. This one. They come also in a plastic lining and then they are beautiful. So as we said, tobacco color, chamois rough out. It's kind of a, a oily, kind of a waxy texture. Now these are in the 1035 lasts. Uh, I, uh, as I said, it's my first pair, so I've got nothing really to compare it to with the last. I'll get the other one out. So here they are. This is the 1035 last. These are the tobacco chamois rough out. Uh, Halloween leather, I believe. Uh, it's got the Commando sole as well, so that is gonna last me a very, very long time. Good deal welter, as it says there. Uh, it's got brass eyelets, and I love these laces. Uh, I think I like these laces more so than I like these ones. Uh, they've just got that kind of, uh, you know, waxy flesh type feel to them as well. Now, funny story about these. Uh, you see the toe cap on them. Uh, Rivenhide had these previously a few years ago. Uh, without the toe cap on them, so you may see them around. You might see some pictures online uh, of this exact boot without toe cap. Uh, they sold really well, they sold out. Uh, so Riven and High put in another order with Viberg. Uh, and when they turned up, they had the toe cap on them. So apparently, the guys from Riven and Hyde said to Viberg, We didn't order this with the toe cap. And the Viberg guys uh, replied by saying, Yeah, but it looks good, doesn't it? And, uh, and everyone agreed. And, and, it, and it does. I think it does look good. And it, and it has uh, pretty much sold out as well. I think. This was the last 10 and a half, I think it is. Uh, and then I think they've got a seven left and, a, and maybe one other size. Uh, but uh, so I'm quite very, very happy to get this. Uh, it was a toss up between this and a new one. They've got a uh, brand new one uh, that is a snuff calf suede mini ripple sole. Uh, that looks amazing. But I think this color, it suits me a bit more, uh, a bit more rugged looking as well with the commando sole. It's gonna last me quite a long time. Uh, so, you know, I'm very happy with my purchase. As I said, I'm going to do a full review in the coming weeks after I've worn these a bit. Uh, they feel super comfortable straight out of the box uh, right away. So I'm very happy about that. If you could smell this, the, the smell coming off these is amazing. Uh, just that real fresh leather smell. It's just a really, really uh, great smell. Now, I mean, overall, I'm, I'm quite happy. You know, you're paying a lot of money uh, for these, so you, you expect them to be top quality uh, and they'd certainly look it. But as I said, I am gonna do a full boot review in the coming weeks, but I'll just show you now. Uh, you can see how these look. They look absolutely fantastic. And if you're in the UK and you can get yourself to one of the Riven High stores, Manchester or, or London, 
uh, you know, pop in, say hi to the guys. They're a really knowledgeable bunch. Uh, they really helped me out with trying to find the perfect boot for me. So if you just want to go in and browse or, or try on some of the stuff there, do it. Uh, guys, are, guys are awesome. But that's it. I'm looking forward to giving these a good wear in. I think as they uh, get a bit wear on them, as they patina, they're just going to look absolutely amazing. And I'm hoping that they're going to stay super, super comfortable uh, in the years ahead. So stay tuned. There's going to be an, uh, a review on these very, very soon. Right, there you have it guys. That's my new service boot from Viberg. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Is, are these overpriced? Am I doing the right thing here? As I said, gonna give them a good wear in before I do a full proper boot review. So look out for that in the next couple of months or so. But uh, if you do have a comment, let me know what you think about them. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, hit the red button. It really helps me out. It helps me bring stuff like this to you guys in the future. And with all that being said, guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.